Something fun to do for date night in Iceland Reykjavik is the Magic Ice Ice Room. It's actually located right downtown in a store. As you can see there, it's a clothing store. But you just take the escalator up here all the way down to the lobby of the Magic Ice Ice Room. And what the Magic Ice Ice Room is, is a room that they have carved um, into ice and they have ice sculptures and they have an ice bar and the temperature in it is minus six degrees celsius this is actually a little attraction that as you can see here is all over the world so make sure you're googling it to see if there's any in your area and here is the price list there is a entry or there's different little packages that you can get with like entry and a drink we got the bubble trouble which was entry and a bottle of bubbly so a bottle of champagne for about $120 Canadian, which to us was the best price option for this little attraction. As you can see, they give you gloves and a kind of like a shawl, blanket, very comfortable and cozy. Actually, it's not that comfortable, but it does the trick. So they have dubbed this the coldest place in Reykjavik, which I think is pretty interesting because... I mean, Iceland is on, like, the other side of the world near the no North Pole. But here you go. This is what you walk into. They have different sculptures, little things that you can climb, take pictures on. All the tables are made out of ice blocks with a rubber, like, thing to put your drinks on. Make sure you're putting your drinks on that. Don't be like us. Right up ahead, we are going to experience what not to do. Hi there. Hi there. I heard you have bubble trouble. That's correct. So just don't make that mistake. As you can see, they have these cute little glass cups and they actually make like an insert that fits into the cup that is all made of ice. So your drink is consistently cold throughout your entire stay here. You can stay here for as long as you want. We talked to some of the workers and they said that some people actually stayed for like three or four hours. <laughs> Because of copyright issues, I couldn't play the music that they were playing in here, but oh my goodness, it was all 90s. It was 90s and 2000s, and it was wonderful. This was one of the rooms. I cannot believe the just sculptures and the ice on the walls. This one kind of had like a Game of Thrones vibe with the dragon in the back. And you can see literally everything is made out of ice. Everything. And I mean everything. This ice bottle, you can actually go in and take a cute picture, and of course you need to go on the little Viking boat and pretend that you were sailing. <laughs> they had little cutouts to put your face in. This was one of the other rooms with some more beautiful, so exquisite and just gorgeous carvings. This is actually Leif Erikson. And uh, let's see what David has to say. This is Lee Erickson, he's the discoverer of Vinland, now known as Canada. You exit through the gift shop, which is also the entrance to the building. Yes. And uh, you can buy snowmen or salad balls. Or puffins. Here's the cool entrance way, which is, it's a clothing store upstairs. Yes. So when you're looking for it. There's some polar bears, we just put some Coke bottle. There's some sweaters and merch. And your uh, feet, they, <laughs> yeah. they stick to the metal. Because you're, because it's warmer here. <laughs> and then you're just back where you started. At the end of the day, I think that this was a really cool and fun experience for literally anyone. But for us who live in Canada, where it gets like minus 40 outside, we're pretty used to this. It wasn't even that really cold for us. But if you're from a more tropical place, or you're from places that don't see snow or ice or anything like that, then I think that you definitely need to experience this at least once in your life. Go try it out. I think it's a cute, fun little experience. It's a fun date night and anything in between. But yeah, if you definitely see this a little attraction anywhere, 
from where you are traveling, I highly suggest checking it out. And I think it's definitely a one-time thing for everyone.